Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about more problems in motion in straight line one dimension in kinematics. So in this, uh, this is a basically a continuation video of the motion in one dimension of my previous video in physics. Okay, so we're going to solve some problems, more, uh, let's say, more difficult problems rather than the very first video. So let's get started. So for number one, by the way, I have only two problems here. I'm going to continue this on another video. Uh, we're going to solve some uh, uh, problems again, but much more difficult problems, let's say, and many more types of problems. So for number one, we have a motorcyclist heading east through a small city, accelerates after he, he passes the signpost marking the city limits. This is the signpost. Okay. Okay. His acceleration, okay, acceleration is constant, 4.0 meter per second squared at time is equal to zero he is five meters so this is five meters from the reference which is the city limits which we mark as origin so five meters east of the signpost so this is at time is equal to zero okay moving is at 15 meters per second so what are first the given we have the given which is the acceleration 4.0 meters per second squared. Okay? And we have another given. At time is equal to zero, he is 5 meters east of the signpost. So his initial position, x sub 0 or x sub 1, okay, is 5 meters east of the signpost. Meaning, he is not on the uh, city markings. Okay? His initial position is not on city markings it says at time is equal to zero he is five meters east of the signpost and he has a velocity of initial velocity of 15 meters per second the problem did not say that he starts from rest so we must take this 15 meters per second as his initial velocity letter a find the position and velocity at time is equal to two seconds so we have time is equal to 2.0 seconds what is the velocity, okay, the final velocity after 2 seconds, and what is his position, x, okay? So, what are we going to do? First, we have a, a, a time, given time, we have the initial velocity, we have the acceleration, okay? And we have the initial position, we can therefore use one of the kinematic uh, equations, wherein we will consider, by the way, this is considered as the acceleration is constant, meaning the acceleration is not changing. So we can use the three basic kinematic equation, wherein we have the delta x is equal to v naught p plus 1 half a p squared to find the value or the position at time is equal to 2. So this delta x is simply x minus x naught, all right? The change in position, all right? So we are after this x. So, v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. So, what will happen here is that we have x minus 5, okay? Because his initial position is 5 times the v naught t, which is 15 meters per second, multiplied by 2 seconds, plus 1 half a, which is 4 meters per second squared, times the time, which is 2 seconds squared. So, we need to get the position x such that we have 5 meters plus we have 15 meters per second multiplied by 2 seconds plus 1 half 4 meters per second squared times 2 seconds squared. If we use that, okay, if we calculate that, let me try it first. So we have our answer is 43 meters. Okay, so 43 meters from where? From the signpost, okay? From the signpost. His position with reference to the signpost. If uh, we are actually talking about on his very initial position at times equal to zero, we need to eliminate five here because our reference is five. So this would become 38, okay? But since our reference is the signpost itself, so we need to add 5 because this is our origin. We consider it as our reference, right? Okay? 
So moving on on the other uh, question, which is the velocity after time is equals to 2 seconds. So we can use the first equation, kinematic equation, that we have V is equals to V naught plus AT. Okay? So what is the velocity at time is equals to 2 seconds? So final velocity is now equal to what is our V naught? Our V naught or initial velocity is 15 meters per second plus 4 meters per second squared, which is the acceleration of the motor, cyclist, multiplied by 2 seconds. So, if we calculate that, that is 15 plus 4, okay, times 2, that is 23 meters per second. Okay? So, for letter B, where is the motorcyclist when his velocity is 25 meters per second? So, the, the, the question is where and when his velocity, that's the final velocity, is 25 meters per second. So, we are not given a time. We are not given a time here. So we don't know the time when will the motorcyclist have a velocity of 25 meters per second. So definitely, what are we going to use is the equation 3, which is V squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2A delta X, of which we have the delta X, 2A, X minus X naught, okay, here in our delta X. So what will happen is we have V squared. V squared is the final velocity. All right? Squared is equals to the initial velocity, which is 15 meters per second squared plus 2 times the acceleration, which is 4 meters per second squared times x minus initial position is 5 meters from the post, from the signpost. All right? East of the signpost. So... What are we going to do here is to get x. So we have 25. Let me just uh, erase first the, the uh, units. Minus 15 squared. Okay, I transpose this onto this. And we have is equals to 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Multiplied by x minus 5. So I have 25 squared minus 15 squared is equals to 8x minus 40. So if we're going to solve 4x, we have 25x squared multiplied by 15 squared plus 40 over 8 is equals to x. That is our distance or uh, the position when the motorcyclist reaches a velocity that is equal to 25 meters per second. And our answer is 55 meters. Okay, for our last problem, here, a car traveling with a constant speed of 15 meters per second passes a school crossing corner where the speed limit is 10 meters per second. So we have two bodies here, okay, we have the police officer and we have the, the car. Just as the car passes, a police officer on a motorcycle stop at the corner of in pursuit with the constant acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. So if we have two bodies, okay, in motion along in uh, along a straight line, so we need to consider differently the given in these two bodies. So we have for the car and we have for the police, okay, the police officer, okay. So what will happen here is to write the given by the problem, right? So, a car traveling with a constant speed. Constant speed, okay, that is initial velocity of 15 meters per second. Constant speed. Meaning of constant speed is there is no acceleration, okay? Constant speed because acceleration is defined as a change in velocity with respect to time, if the car is moving at a constant speed, then therefore its acceleration is zero. Okay? So, the speed limit is 10 meters per second. This is uh, really not a given, okay? So, the speed limit is only 10 meters per second, but it doesn't belong to the officer nor to the car. Just as the car passes, a police officer on a motorcycle stopped at 
the corner. So it means that the initial velocity of the police officer is at standby that is zero at rest. So when this car passes this sign, the police officer starts to chase the uh, car with an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. So that is our given. It's very important. So letter A, how much time elapses before the officer catches up with the car? So in other words, how much time will this motorcyclist police catch up with this car? So definitely this police officer will catch up to this because this police officer has an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared while this car has a constant speed of 15 meters per second so it is not accelerating so there will come a time that this police officer will catch up to the to this car okay so with reference to our origin which is the school uh, crossing corner or the uh, this speed limit we label as the origin okay so what will happen is that it means that when the police officer catches up with the car it means they have the same distance let's say they catches up at this point point x this is x away from the origin so let's say that this police officer catches up this uh, car at this point so meaning the police officer and the car has the same distance with respect to this certain point of reference which is the school uh, speed limit sign which is our origin so it means that the x distance of the police okay is equal to the x of the car with respect to this origin okay i hope you get that so what will happen is that we need to get that the distance of the police okay with respect to this reference okay so we need to use a v naught t plus one half a t squared so we know that x would now be equal to the v naught of the police it it is initially at rest okay multiplied by t is equal to zero plus one half what is our a for the police is three times t squared we don't know the time when will the motorist catch up or the policeman catch up with this so we remain this as unknown so we have for the x police we have the distance at any time t from the reference okay is given by the formula three halves t squared because of this this would be zero because the initial velocity is zero so for x car all right this is a part v naught t plus one half a t squared so what will happen is that we have v naught of the car which is 15 multiplied by time we don't know plus one half the acceleration of the car is zero because it's moving at a constant speed so we have zero times t squared t squared so this would be zero so the x of the car okay the distance of a car at any time t is given by this formula 15 t uh, away from this school sign so what will happen since if the policeman chase the car okay catches up with the car they have the same distance with respect to this certain reference point or g all right so what will happen they are equal so we have three halves t squared for the x police is equal now to x car is 15 t as you can see we can solve for the t so t's would cancel so what will happen we have three halves times t is equals to 15 solving for t we have three t is equals to 30 15 times 2 is 30 so t is now equal to 10 seconds so after 10 seconds the policeman catches up with the car okay so letter b what is the officer's speed at that point at that point at time is equal to 10 seconds that is what the problem meant about at that point okay so what is the officer's speed the officer's speed 
Okay? We can get by V is equals to V naught plus AP. So, this is the officer's speed at time is, uh, time is equals to 10 seconds. The initial velocity of the police car or the policeman is zero because it starts from rest. Plus, its acceleration is 3 meters per second squared multiplied by 10 seconds. So, the velocity would now be there for 30 meters per second. That's the velocity of the policeman. So, my question, I'm going to add, how about the car? Velocity of the car. The velocity of the car is still 15 meters per second because it's moving in a constant velocity. Okay? So, let us see what is the total distance each vehicle has traveled at that point. At that point, again, at time is equals to 10 seconds, what is the x of the car, distance of the car from the signpost, okay, and x traveled by the police. So, as you can see, at time is equals to 10 seconds, we can use this, okay, expression of the distance in terms of time, and, of course, for the position of the car, okay, at any time t. So, they must have the same distance, okay? Because they are, they catches up the same distance from, from the, the point of origin. So, let's try to get the distance of the car after 10 seconds. So, we have V naught T plus 1 half. Ah, uh, no, no. We, we should not be using that. Okay? So, what will happen that we should use this. For the car, the distance at any time t is given by this function in terms of time. So we have 15 times 10 seconds, that is 150 meters. Okay? The distance of the car after 10 seconds with respect to the signpost, with respect to this origin, okay? this school sign. How about the for the police? Okay, for the police, we have uh, 3 halves t squared. So, I have 3 halves t squared. So, we have 3 halves times 10 seconds squared. So, 100 times 3 is 300 over 2. That is still 150 meters. Or we can also solve for the uh, using the v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. We still get the same answer. So, V naught of the car is 15 meters per second times 10 seconds plus 1 half. Since the acceleration of the car is 0, that is 0 times 10 seconds squared. So, this would be 0. We still have 150 meters here. The same also goes for the police. If we use the conventional formula, we have... The initial velocity of the police is 0 times 10. This is 0 plus 1 half. We have the acceleration for the police given as uh, 3 meters per second squared. So we have 3 meters, 3 meters per second squared. And we have time 10 seconds squared. So this is still 100 times 3. That is 300 divided by 2. That is Till 150 meters because at time is equal to 10 seconds they have the same distance they have the same uh, distance from the reference because they catch up okay they are at the same point okay so that's all for this short video lecture i hope you learned something about solving these types of problem in physics in kinematics so thank you so much for listening god bless you